we are going to take this 2020 four cylinder high performance Mustang. So right now, I'm on my way to the local Ford dealership. We're gonna take out a cool car. We're gonna rip some photos, and uh, yeah, it should be pretty fun. For actually the first time in a couple weeks, it's actually really nice outside. So I'm hoping to take something cool that we actually can bring out um, that we normally can't on a crappy rainy day. We're gonna take this 2020 four-cylinder high-performance Mustang. So this is just a really, really interesting car. So automatic, four cylinder, and it's not that slow. So under the hood, we have a 2.3 liter inline four cylinder. There's your turbo. I'm just gonna pull my foot to the floor. So now we're back at the computer. So first thing I always do, import all the photos into Lightroom. And once they load, what I do is I go photo by photo and I check each photo because I take a few of each, each frame. I'm gonna go through and select all like the good photos. So like this photo here, I can't use because it didn't focus on the car while the car's out of focus. So I go through and I'm like, okay, cool. That one looks good. So I still select it by hitting one which adds a star number one to it, and I'll show you afterwards how I filter through all the photos I selected. Okay, cool, so now that I have all the photos selected, what I do is I go down to the right-hand side here where it says filter and it says filter all. You click the drop-down menu, you go to rated, when it's unrated, it will have star number one selected, and there is all the photos that I selected by hitting one on the keyboard. And if you wanted to do any further refinements, so like this one right here, I did one shot of this tire brace, and here's another shot of it. If I liked this shot better, then I would hit two, which would add a star number two, and if you go to the right side by the filters, it adds a second star, so you could refine it more as you go. So here's where I start editing. I've already kind of done the hard work in the past and I have all my different presets here on the left hand side. So what I usually do is I go through and I try to find like my, my favorite one for that type of like scene. So I kind of like this one. Don't worry about the names. They're, they're stupid names that for a reason. But once I drop it on there, it's pretty generalized. So what I do is I kind of go in and I make the tweaks right off the bat. So we're gonna raise the shadows a little bit. We're gonna drop down the highlights a little bit so we can see a little bit more of these rocks here. Looks like there's a vignette on here. So we're gonna go down. Oh, actually, it needs white vignette because of the way that the 24 to 70 reacts. So this shot right here is actually pretty cool. So this is back when I got back to the dealership after I dropped off the car. This is the carbon fiber wheels for the track package on the GT500. So this is the uh, the wheel and brake setup with the uh, GT500 and these wheels, are they look insane in person. They're really, really cool. So that is just a little bit of how I go out take photos of cars and come back and edit them. When once I'm done with that, I send it off away and then we have a poster that goes on and posts them on all the social media accounts. 
If you want to follow this journey of me becoming a car videographer and car photographer, go down, subscribe. Also, follow me over on Instagram and TikTok where I show a lot of my car stuff on day to day. And uh, I'll see you next time.